In this video, uh, we're going to measure the uh, characteristic impedance of this coaxial cable. Um, I bought this from a surplus um, dealer. It should be a 50 ohm, 50 ohm coax cable. And I just put now a BNC connector and uh, still I uh, don't know exactly what to do with the cable if I will make jumpers or if I will take this uh, thin uh, convenient cable for portable uh, operations but anyway um, there is no markings on, on the cable okay um, so I want to make sure this is a 50 ohm cable uh, we're gonna use uh, a method which uh, has been already uh, uh, presented or shown by uh, Peter of uh, TRX Bench. Uh, he's got a very nice channel, by the way. Um, that's TRX Tango Romeo X ray uh, Bench channel. Uh, so basically, we're going to measure the. Uh, we're going to use a formula. Um, a simple formula which I'm gonna so show the formula now. is this one it's very simple um, it says that to uh, the uh, characteristic impedance of a line like this is um, the uh, square root of the uh, ratio between uh, his inductance and his capacitance so we just need to measure uh, these two factors and to do that I'm going to use the uh, my MFJ two six nine. We're going to measure uh, L and C. Uh, so let's switch it on, and I show you on the display that uh, it will measure coax loss capacitance in picofarads, inductance in micro Henry. So we start with inductance. So let me connect the cable. Okay, I put a short at the other end because we want to measure uh, the inductance now of the line. And I have connected. Uh, by the way, it doesn't matter how long is uh, the cable because um, it's always a, a ratio. So if uh, the inductance uh, will be larger uh, because of a longer um, piece of coax, capacitance will be larger in the same manner. So the ratio will keep constant. So let's uh, take note of uh, the inductance. Let's say we are, let's go for, um, I don't know, let's go for a round number like 2 micro henry so I'll go up in frequency until I hit 2 a little bit down okay I've got 2 micro henry's so I'll take note obviously I have to be at the same frequency okay the frequency uh, now I'm using is 2.31 megahertz i'll take note of that just in case because this shifts a little bit anyway it's not critical to measure i'm doing it anyway um the inductance is let's take a note of the inductance is two micro henry okay now we want to check the capacitance. check the capacitance we no longer want a short so i uh, have uh, removed the short uh here at the other end and we check for capacitance so as you can see the frequency has shifted a little bit but as i said before it's not critical um so we read 730 picofarad so seven we'll take note of that 730 puff now we do the ratio obviously we need to take account of uh, this uh, uh, different um, um, units or subunits because this is uh, basically uh, 2 times 10 
at minus six Henry, and this is seven thirty times ten minus twelve Farad. Okay, this, this is micro and this is pico. Okay, so uh, let's uh, grab the calculator. Okay, using the uh, calculator from the iPad, I can uh, write. I can actually write the whole formula. We do it in steps. So we take two at uh, minus six. divided by 730 at the uh, minus 12 that is the ratio and this is the result 2739.7 so let's write it down well basically <coughs> that means the L over C is 2739,73. Okay, uh, now we want to square the square root of this number. So just square root of this number. And apart from the result, we want to see basically if it's close to 50 or close to 75 ohms. So let's hit result I've got 52.3 so that's uh, uh, that's the result we got that means uh, that uh, this is a 50 home cable basically so now I'm sure that uh, this cable uh, I can work with this cable in my uh, uh, operations for here uh, on the bench or outdoor uh, with the uh, radios which are 50 ohm uh, that's all for now um, for this video uh, very simple one but uh, i thought it would, would, would have been nice to share because it's very uh, handy if you have the way this this uh, device or an lcr meter if you have the way to check inductance and capacitance um, uh, you have a coax and you don't know what kind of coax it is this is a nice way to do it okay all the best so I'm free